Hi my YouTube family, this is Melody from Home Garden and Fashion. I thank you so so much for being here today. Today we are going to have a wonderful time together. Hi, this is Melody. Today I am going to do a decoration on a valence, a garden. And this is actually a wooden flower. So that's the yarn flower. So I'm going to show you how to make the petals and join it and make a flower and then you can put it on anything, a curtain or a dress or anything. And so you can put it in a door curtain, window curtain, lace or sheer, any kind of material you can join this flower. And this flower is very easy to make, so I'll just show you how to make the flower. So to make the flower, you need the yarn. So we're going to join here two different colors of yarn, white and red. And you can do any other colors. So you just put your yarn uh, in a needle so you have to have the big embroidery needles with the large eye so that way you can put it uh, put your yarn or thread through it and then you have to take a sewing knitting needle and then you have to put in there about 15 hooks so it's as if we're going to knit something so you put using your needle and then this knitting needle you put uh, knitting stick or whatever you call it you put 15 hoops on it and then on that 15 hooks by using the needle we're going to work on it and it's just uh, you will have to make two or three lines that so uh, that way our petal can take a form so here i'm using double yarn you can use single, but remember if you use single yarn, then your petals are going to be very thin. And if you use double yarn, your petals are going to be thick. So it's up to you whether you want the petals to be thick or thin. So I'm putting here 15 times, and you can put as many times as you wish. So if you put 20 or 30, then your petal is going to be a little bit bigger, wider. So as many hooks as you put, depending on that, your petals will be bigger or smaller. Now once I have my 15 hooks, now I'm going to use my needle and just sort of like crocheting it with the needle so you will continue doing that on each of these holes and you just do two times two rounds and if you do one round and then you add another color to another round then your petals will be smaller looking uh, we're going to do two rounds. You can even do three rounds with one color and two rounds with another. So you can choose um, how many rounds you want to do. And you can also choose how many different colors you can add. So you can have um, at the same time two, three needles going on. And then when you're done, just at the end, keep one needle hanging and you can cut off two needles with the thread. So, so you have to make sure here when you're making this um, crochet work 
with the knee gun is that make sure it's not too tight, not too loose, just right. If you make it too tight, then your pedals will be very tough and will not bend. Or it's not going to be workable, but if you make it too loose, then your pedals will be sort of like a net kind. So you have to make it just right. So I'm just going to continue on this and finish it till I have all my 15 of the chains. And now once we do that, you can just tighten up and then you can choose to add another color or another needle with the yarn with the same color. And here you make sure you put a nice knot so it does not open up. This is one thing you have to make sure you put a knot so you can do so much while this is on that knitting stick. So you can do so much like you can knit two or three lines and then you can add different colors and then at the end you can add some beads or sequins. So now I already added the red color thread and I'm going to continue the whole entire this line, entire chain, entire row with the red one. If you want to mix two, three different colors, have this two, three different, different needles and you can just each time put a needle and work and let the needle hang till the last um, moment and then you can cut it off the thread so I'm just gonna go on and do it and while I'm doing it you can see it's the same process so I am going to talk about a little bit about asophorida um, lot of my peers asked me to talk about asaphorida. So asaphorida is a tree resin and sort of like uh, comes in the tree as if it's a glue. I'm going to do a separate video but this is the time I found to just do the talking on asaphorida. So it sort of hangs in the tree like glue. And it's just some um, the Afghanistan and India and this kind of places is available. And then they take out this glue-like material and turn to a powdery form. And it has a very strong, pungent smell to it. But when you cook it, it the smell changes to a good smell and you can actually smell it and so it has a lot of uses and once they make it powder they usually mix it with wheat or something um, because it kind of vanishes in the air so they have to have something to mix with it so you just use a very little like pinch and it has a lot of benefits on health and beauty a lot of people use it with a little bit of olive oil and just put a pinch of asphorida and they use it for skin and makes the skin good and usually it's been used at the beginning of the cooking or at the end and at the end to we all kinds of beans and lentils at the end of the cooking we do a thing called choka and that's choka, we put uh, some oil, some cumin seed, and some asafodida, and some spices, and pepper, things like that. And then just uh, put it on the stove, and when it gets a little bit warm, within a one or minute or so, uh, all the spices started roasting, then we just take it out and pour it on our hot soup. So that's how we 
use the sapotita in our cooking you know it's good for very good for digestion and it's good for brain too so a lot of like depression anxiety all these things good for and it is good for our cholesterol high blood pressure and gives a good blood flow in the arteries so it has a lot of uh, benefit on the health and especially all the spices have tons of benefits so we'll try to cover it one at a time all the spices and their benefits so especially cumin and asafoetida and books for coriander too coriander has a lot of a lot of benefits so one separate video can be done on that so the so fodita is a must for Indian cooking just like turmeric is a must and as a fodita usually have to be used very little like a pinch you do not use too much and so it's just little goes long way just a pinch of it and a lot of people they have noticed significant amount of improvement in digestion by using asafoetida usually what happens is um, when we have indigestion and gas that gas goes up in the head and gives a headache and a lot of discomfort so if we use asafoetida the gas gets out the body the way it's supposed to so that way your body can relieve the gas and not have the headache or bloating and all that a lot of times we see little children will be the colicky children will be crying and very much suffering with a swollen stomach so that time one can heat up a little bit of olive oil and put one pinch of a sephora to it and then uh, gently rub the stomach in circular motion and then the child gets a lot of relief then the gas comes out through either of the ends and the child is relieved a lot so when I'm done with this I'll take it out and as you can see all my this um, only little little uh, squares up there now I have to go through all this chain inside and I have to pull it and I still have two of the needles hanging and as I pull it I have to give it a shape as a paddle and I can cut up one of the and once I tighten it, stitch it, I can cut off one of the needle with the thread and I can work with the other one. So, just work with the other one, whichever color you have. I have white and red, so whatever color you have, you can cut off one of it and work with the one. The main thing is to remember have your needle and thread hanging to it so you can switch which one you want to work with and, and this way make sure your pedal will not come loose or get open while you're working and this is one pedal is done I'm just going to stitch the bottom and this same way you will make four to five petals. I have done here four petals. I think ideally we should put five petals to make a flower then it'll be exactly a good looking flower. And you'll add and join the petals together first and then you stitch it in your fabric. You can stitch anywhere on this flower. You can even put this one on top of the hairband so 
so after you make the petal you have to make sure you straighten it up properly and stretch it and then just get rid of all your thread and cut off the sides to make it look good now I'm joining all the petals joining the petals is a little bit tough because as you have given the double thread so it become hard to go through it so just do it very slowly and you will get to it once you join all you have to do is give it a pull if you can go a couple of times that will be awesome because all of the petals will be joined together and either way when you put it with the net or the fabric you can join it and then, and then just pull it so this is a nice woolen flower which can be attached to almost anything and it is very easy to make and this is not just a flower making this is also a process of meditation to do all this craft and woolen flowers is really good meditation you can peacefully do it and feel much calmer and my flower is almost done i need to add one more and i'm going to add on top a bead and you can add anything else you can add a pearl as well and you can actually center after you tie this up all the four sides you can actually glue a bead or a sequin to it on the top or you can stitch it in either so I have this long needle with the thread so I'll just go ahead and stitch it in and then I'll stitch it to my balance slash curtain and I'm trying to get it inside this but this has become very thick because I'm putting double layers so now I'm just going to add the bead so you hold the flower and you hold the fabric or the net or the balance whatever you're going to stitch the flower and you can stitch this flower on your hair band on, on your clothing as well so then you come up from the bottom and just come to the top and go down and you do quite a few times and make sure each time you come up from the bottom or go down it should be a different hole so it will hold on to the flower so do you few times and at the same time stitch a pearl or the sequin or the bead in the center or just finish stitching the flower all together and then you glue the bead or the pearl or the sequin either way it will work and by doing this you can just stitch the entire thing and it will look lovely i just found a big bead and i'm going to use this bead and attach this to the center so i'm gonna make sure your bead so since your needle is thick you have to take a bigger bead to put in the center because the thick needle will not go through a smaller bead um, you can use hot glue but when you wash it hot glue will probably go away so you should use uh, fabric paint glitter paint that will work better this gets t-shirt decorating so i'm just giving quite a few rounds make sure it's very sturdy so it doesn't come off and i have added 
set the flowers in quite a distance. I did not crowd it too much. It looks good if you have it in quite a distance, not crowd it so much. So I'm just going to secure it at the back and I'm done with the flower and I'll just show you how it came out. It just really came out nice. So after you shape the petals then putting in the fabric and giving it shape and stretching it is very important to give it a flower shape. And this way you can make a lot of woolen flowers and attach to your garden or anything else and that will look really beautiful. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share the video and I'll see you with many many more. Thank you. Good night. Hi. Thank you so so much for being here today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share this video. Thank you. May God bless you all.